Now that we have learned about congestion and the negative effects of it on the network, let's start learning about how TCP performs congestion control. The questions that we need to address to be able to understand TCP's congestion control is how does TCP understand if there is a congestion and how does it react to the congestion when it happens. TCP congestion control works using a mechanism called AIMD, additive increase, multiplicative decrease. In this mechanism, the sender tries to increase its transmission rate if its probing of the network indicates no congestion. The sender performs this by increasing its window size while it still has not experienced any loss. So the indicator of congestion for the TCP is packet loss. This increase is done by increasing congestion window size by one MSS or maximum segment size every round trip time until it detects loss. When the sender detects loss, it interprets it as congestion and cuts the congestion window size in half. By cutting the congestion window size value in half, the sender is trying to reduce its transmission rate substantially so that it does not add to the sources of overwhelming the network. AIMD causes a sawtooth behavior in the TCP transmission rate at the sender. The increases in the window size shape the upslopes while the sender is additively increasing the size of the window. And the pointy edges of the sawtooth shape happen when the cuts in the window size happen. Let's apply what we just learned to the context of sender window size. Remember the sliding window settings we learned in discussion of pipelining protocols. By changing the window size, the TCP controls the in-flight packets in the network. This is an attempt to reduce the source of congestion. However, this also limits the TCP performance. TCP rate will be roughly around window size divided by RTT. And this is because it has to send congestion window size of bytes, then wait one round trip to hopefully get the X back and then move to sending more bytes. The process of increasing the window size in AIMD while probing the network is called slow start. This process starts at the beginning of a TCP connection. When the connection is established, the transmission from the sender begins with CWND or congestion window being equal to one MSS or maximum segment size. The congestion window size doubles every round trip time with success in transmission of segments in previous round. The doubling is because every successful act received, the CWND is increased by one MSS. So the initial rate is low, but it ramps up exponentially, which is quite fast. For example, as we see in the figure, at the beginning, one segment is sent and one act is received in the first RTT. This adds one MSS to CWND. Then two segments are sent and two acts are received in the next RTT. And therefore, the CWND is increased by two MSSs. And then four segments are sent and four acts are received. And therefore, the CWND is increased by four MSSs in the next RTT. Therefore, the additive increase of CWND for each ACK results in doubling of the window each round trip time, resulting in an exponential growth of the window size. We know that TCP interprets timeouts as well as triple duplicate ACKs as possible indicators of loss of a segment. TCP reacts to these two events differently. Also, these reactions are different in different implementations of TCP. For a loss indicated by timeout, TCP resets the congestion window size to one MSS and restarts slow start mechanism again. For a loss indicated by triple duplicate acts, TCP Reno cuts the window size in half. But TCP Tahoe reacts the same way as for timeouts 
and sets the window size to 1 MSS. The state of reaction after the timeout for TCP Reno is called fast recovery. Another way of alleviating the congestion problem is reducing the rate of increase in the congestion window size before congestion happens. This point might be after the window reaches a certain threshold and happens an attempt to avoid reaching a point of congestion as fast as it happens an exponential growth of the window size. This mechanism is called congestion avoidance, or CA, and is used in TCP in addition to slow start and fast recovery processes. Congestion avoidance changes the increase pattern in the window size from exponential to linear. But when should we switch to congestion avoidance? When the congestion window reaches half of its value before a timeout happens might be a good threshold. This threshold is named SS threshold, which stands for slow start threshold and is continuously updated to half of the congestion window size before the last congestion. This changes the sawtooth shape of the window size changes to add a milder slope after the slow start threshold. 